Shalom Rastafari, you know, and this is the continuance of the liberation of, of, of black and brown people all over the world, the liberation of Ethiopia, um, the liberation of all humans from the hand of Ha-Satan, Yitorigamim Yehunim, you know, of Satan. Now, um, there's something going on right now in the communities, in, uh, you know, certain of, of the, the black communities and stuff like that. And this brother right here, he was on um, uh, Sarnetta TV, this brother Chris Brazar. Now, the conversation that these brothers was having, it was really interesting. You know what I mean? Let's This was not taught to one generation of blacks. This was taught and to we kind of want to go over this a little bit. And um, today, because this is part of the introduction is prevalent among many African Americans. Of what we're speaking about. And yeah, this I is on. Out some of y'all stuff, man. The debates and, you know, all the stuff y'all talk about. Because, um, you know, I, I'm brother interested Chris in the Bizarre, uplifting of black people, man. Y'all drop some knowledge. Thank you, and, brother. Uh, I know Brother Polite. Hold up, hold up. So you know who? Oh, yeah, I watch Polite. Wow, that's what's up. And, uh, no. see, Ali Muhammad, yeah, okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. Look at, uh, I'm with y'all and brothers. So I don't agree with everything. I'm a right, Christian. Right. You're not uh, Harry, to, but, whereby. You know, I check y'all out. You know, man, I'm glad you came out here to see us, brother. That's yeah, yeah, up. yeah. I, I stay in Jersey. I'm in Harlem sometimes, man. So I, I check y'all out, man. You know. Stop jumping and, on the um, man. It's a lot of history in, uh, with New York, New York, and, um, also Rastafari starting out of the, the 1920s and the 30s in New Orleans. This is these these are very important things. Um you know, in New Orleans that, that there was a movement of Rastafari in the twenties and thirties. Which is not we're not trying to overlook um you know Jamaica in that sense. But we just letting you know that these are things that actually have happened, so keep it in mind when when you're talking about certain things because if 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 you have if you have, if you keep it closed minded you know because most of the time when we say rastafari um it's associated mostly with jamaica and there's an overstanding of that and um you know it's the, even the understanding and why the prophets and why the spirit it shows us that we're in a time of benjamin and i want to give a shout out to the prophets who who mentioned that you know, who, who mention that to the eye, you know, and get them blessings and salvation. But this overcoming in this time is really the overstanding of, of this constitution. You know what I'm saying? What this is really, what this is really about, you see, um, our freedom and our liberation and who the Jews are. Now, one thing that's very important to understand is that most of the Hebrews, most of the Hebrew tribes, you never really hear mention that they are actual Jews. You don't hear that. There's only really one specifically. Uh, what is, you know, if there's others, um, there probably are others that say certain type of things. But you never hear one that's, that specifically says that they are Jews. You know, so we, I and I, we point, we'll point that direction to the Lion of Judah. The Lion of Judah Society. And then that being linked in the in the scripture in the word with the Judah is my lawgiver, you know. And even when the Jesus Christo says that salvation is of the Jews, you see. So there was a conversation that was discussed, and this is why this is so important here. There was a conversation that was discussed uh, that the brother was discussing. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. And so we we're gonna go over this real quick because um we just wanna clarify a few things, you know what I'm saying? Because alright, now what we wanna say is that apparently from what we see, a lot of what's being said and what's really going on, brothers, and not to diss no brothers or nothing like that, but apparently we, we have an understanding that y'all uh, most of y'all don't know or, or not exposed to most of the the uh, the more deeper information about <clears throat> Christ and and the Bible, 
in that sense. You see what I'm saying? And what it what exactly does it really, really mean? And and this is what this is what we want to kind of clarify right now. What some of the things that they're gonna say in this video, right, need clarity because what it shows us, because these people, these brothers are important brothers at this time period. You know, they they uh, a lot of the youths and, and the younger brothers and sisters, they looking for guidance and leaders, and these brothers become um, you know, these brothers are these some of these leaders. You know what I mean? These brothers are the leaders and some of the brothers and sisters that the youth look up to. So when we hear them speaking some of this information that that we know. See, there's information in here that they they'll speak that I now already knows has clarity on it. So it's but the only way to 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 show that is I now have to show you. You see what I'm saying? So let's go ahead. I know, man. Cause I, I, you know, look, we might end up being at the House of Consciousness to defend the faith in Jesus Christ. <laughs> y'all sleeping. Y'all sleeping. Yeah. I'm going to teach y'all about the black history in the Bible. I know some of y'all know, but I'm going to really break it down. So what about Yes, sir. Peace and black power family. Yo, let me tell y'all something right quick. I'm sitting in the car Saturday morning. This Saturday has just passed. <laughs> Look at uh, uh Malcolm X. Where's Sarnetta at? Where's Sarnetta at? So I look out the window and I see Chris Chris Bazaar. I'm hoping I'm saying his name right. And I said, what? Chris Cross. Saw 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 the Mac X of the of the generation. You know what I mean? And we'll over we'll explain that too. Yeah, it's, it's important. It's important. You know what I mean? Because it needs clarity. So we're going to put the clarity out. No. Yeah, you because the history and the truth of what, what the history what really means for us. You see what I'm saying? For I and I. For all the I'm black and brown people I'm all good, over the world. Man, Yeah, I check out some of y'all stuff, man, the debates and, you know, all the stuff y'all talk about because, um, you know, I I'm interested in the uplift. Okay, so now let's, let's overstand something. I just want to get something clear. That the conversation that's about to be had right now, and this is the reason why we were filming this video, is that we're going to put proper clarity, right, um, in spirit and truth, in the spirit of the Almighty, we're going to put proper clarity on what the brothers are talking about and we're gonna do it to where <clears throat> it shouldn't really it shouldn't um deter you from the way it shouldn't just you know it's not deceiving but there should be um full 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 clarity and understanding you'll be able to see you'll be able to understand what we're saying so this video is important so we're gonna watch let's watch this video see what's going on real quick Oops. Touch phones. What happened to the scene? Hold on, let the eye <laughs> let the eye go back, and get back on the YouTube real quick. You know. That was but anyway, yeah. We're gonna basically explain the truth of what this means, right? And what does it mean to be a, a Jew? You see what I'm saying? See, what does it mean to be what is a Jew really? You see this? What is a Jew really? You see what I'm saying? So let's let's clarify. Let's clarify. Here we go. For the black people, man, y'all y'all drop some knowledge. Thank you. And brother. uh you see what we got coming up, right? Nah, what what look right there. Oh, oh. you know what's going down. Okay, I I know brother Polite. Hold on, hold on. So you know, know Oh yeah, I watch Polite. Why? Wow, that's what's up. And uh Let's see who he getting ready to go what's up against. What's his name? Uh Who's the brother? Muhammad. Ali Muhammad. Ali Muhammad. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I watch all them brothers. So I don't agree with everything. I'm a right, Christian. Right. You're not supposed to. But 
you know, I check y'all out. So what do you think about the brothers in the NBA? Are they tuned in? Yo, the Christian. I have been talking to any of them. What's a Christian, really? Run on okay. Okay. So, him and Paul Ice stay together all the time. Okay. Stay together okay. all the time. That's why he changed his name to Metal World Peace. That's right. That's the scoop. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> yes, sir. Yes, sir. Nah, but yeah, man, you know. Man, I'm glad you came out here to see us, brother. That's yeah, yeah, up. yeah. I, I stay in Jersey. I'm in Harlem sometimes, man. So I, I check y'all out, man. Okay. Yeah. That's what's yeah. up, man. So y'all, y'all check, tune out, tune in to NBA. And uh, stop jumping on the Christians, man. Oh, man. <laughs> stop jumping on the Christians. All oh, y'all, Ali, Polite. Yo, cause I, yeah, yeah, who are all the cats? What's all his right. name? Uh, Tahuti, <laughs> Tahuti, Tahuti, Wesley Muhammad. Oh, Come man. on, man. He's you a tuned in, yeah, 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 I know, you man. You tuned in. I, I, you know, look, we might end up being at the House of Consciousness to defend the faith in Jesus Christ. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, yo, don't, 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 don't. All right. Yeah, so now, right now they say, um, they say Jesus Christ. All right. So now. What what we what this is this is what it, this is what this this is what this was all about. You see, this information is what it's all about. Is that the name Jesus, right? And then the name Yeshua. And then I think um, uh, the brother goes back into one of the brothers go into uh, ancient Egypt, and they mention some names, right? Now the Egyptians they were aware they were aware of these stories. You see. They were aware, they were aware of these spiritual stories. So when people make the the assumption that the ancient Egyptians weren't aware of the um, the real biblical spiritual stories, they make a mistake. You see what I'm saying? That's where you make a mistake at. See, they were very well aware of it, and different dynasties, right, and different families did different things at different times. All right, so we're gonna go over. We're gonna go over this uh, this part real quick. Let's see. Don't let him out. So let's go over these names. Yo, yeah, yeah. Who are all the cats? What's his name? Uh, Tahuti, 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 Wesley Muhammad. Oh, come on, man. He's a man. I know, man. Cause I, I, you know, look, we might end up being at the House of Consciousness to defend the faith in Jesus Christ. Y'all sleeping? Y'all sleeping? Yeah. I'm gonna teach y'all about the Black history in the Bible. I know some of y'all know, but I'm gonna really break it down. So what about the Hebrew Israelites? The Hebrew Israelites, look, I, I'm, I mean, I, obviously, Are you a Hebrew? no, I'm, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm a follower of Jesus Christ, but I do, I, I understand the rationale of a lot of brothers that believe we came, you know, we from the original Hebrews in West Africa. I definitely believe the original biblical Hebrews were. All right, you know, so it wasn't just West Africa, though. You see what I'm saying? Because we talking about all of Africa. We talking about all the Saudi Arabia, you know. We talking about Ethiopia. We talking about the ancient land that that went um, um, beyond the rivers of Egypt, you know, beyond the rivers of Egypt, you know, beyond the Mediterranean, over the Mediterranean. So we talking about all the way to even to China, what is known as Shinar, and at different time periods too. You see what I'm saying? At different time periods, because the explanation is that. Um, it's not just it's not just West Africa when you say oh they come from that portion because of the slave trade and how many slaves they were transporting all over the Atlantic and in the many different places that they were transporting but but this is this is what's important right here it, that it, it's not just West Africa we talking about a whole uh, all, uh, all of Africa all of Saudi Arabia we talking about an entirety of a people and then we leaving our other 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 tribes, other nations. We're people of color with African blood um, and all that. The Limba tribe, all that. Everybody stop it. Yeah. He don't watch sports. That's cool. But yeah, you know, we'll uh, what's up, brother? All right, Bezo. All right. Now when you go back and when you go to the chess club and to the sport club, you're gonna see. You know who is down? Uh, Amari. Amari Stoudemire. Yeah, Amari's a Hebrew. Now, Amari's a Hebrew, but Amari accepts Christ. Amari believes in Yeshua, yeah. you know, Jesus as the Savior. So, you know, all right. So, I don't know which, you know, the section of the Hebrews who don't accept Christ, right? 
you know, Yeshua, and then, you know, he said Yeshua right here, which, the name Yeshua means Yahweh saves. You see what I'm saying? That's what the name Yeshua means. I don't. Yeah, Amari, Amari might be there. We're going to tear Amari ass up, too. Oh, y'all going to tear Amari? Yeah. Right, 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 right. I get you. I get you. Yeah, I get you. So, um, so, um, let's talk about something. Man. I want to deal with that. that. I'm going to drop this, yo. I'm the, I'm the founder and president of a national Christian men's movement called the King Movement. Stands for knowledge, inspiration, and nurture through God. Okay. I don't think one of our us, one of our foundational scriptures is Psalm 68, verse 31. Princes shall come out of Egypt. Ethiopia shall soon stretch forth their hands unto God. That's a prophecy written thousands of years ago. That when men of African descent, right, Egypt, Ethiopia, stretch forth our hands to God, submit to God, that we will become royalty, princes. Right? So that's what we. That's what we about. We for all men, but we we are trying to help uplift our people through Jesus Christ. So what if I was to tell you that there has never been a man by the name of Jesus that ever walked the face of the earth? Well, his okay. Hebrew name when he walked the earth was Yeshua. Uh, that's slick. That's pretty. That's pretty slick right there. See stuff like that. That's 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 a good move right there. All right, because now there's a difference being made between the name Jesus, right, Jesus Christ. And then Yeshua, right? So cause now this brother, and this brother, he displayed really good. He said that his name was Yeshua. That's a blessing. Give thanks for that. You know what I mean? Jesus is the Greek, you know, it, it, the New Testament was written in Greek. So that's what Jesus came off of. But the, Yeshua, the Messiah, undoubtedly existed. You you wouldn't even deny that. Brother, so um, so that's what I would tell you. The name, the name after Christ. Right? But I say that we are all Christ. Because well, Christ means to be anointed. Yes. If you've got the knowledge of self, you understand who you are, and you live in righteousness, you are Christ. Well, in a sense, I say I'm a Christian. I, I feel you. Where, where, where we would disagree is how you become a Christ. Uh, once you, we believe that you have to accept Jesus Christ or Yeshua and the sacrifice he made for you. Now, have you ever committed any sins? All right, we've all according committed to, sins. According to Christian doctrine. Or, or Muslim doctrine or Egyptian doctrine, any doctrine. Okay, so anyway, not not a, not just according to Christian document that you committed the sin, all right? Nigga, let's get something straight. Sin is any wrongdoing. You did any wrongdoing, whether it's in your mind, your spirit, your heart, your soul, your body. You ever done the shit, that's, that's, a, that's a sin. Don't play fucking stupid. You, you, you know what a sin is, okay? So we not... You know, it's just these little games that that people will try to play to try to, you know, to take you away from the truth. You got to understand this stuff. See what I'm saying? So let's finish. Let's look at that. Right here. Now, we, your price has to be paid for that sin because God is righteous. Now, Jesus never went and paid that price. And once you accept that, then you can become a Christ. You're right. You can be, you can become an anointed one. But who paid the price for your sin? You paid it yourself? I paid it myself. Just, you just got on your knees and said, I'm sorry? I'm paying for my parents' sin. Sometimes I don't think I got enough to pay for my sins. I think I think the son of God had never sinned, had to take the punishment for my sins. Because I done done a lot of sins. You know what I'm saying? But I think we all are comfortable in what we do in this life. Oh, we respond to the devil in house. What they say is we won't get to heaven without paying a price. We all pay a price to get to the afterlife. Yeah, I'm, I'm they don't know about, you ever heard of Osiris? Osiris. 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 The at that time they were trying to tell you a a story of time and a situation, but they were also trying to give you the blueprints to get yourself out. But there were some institutions, well not some, there were many 
You know what I'm saying? There were many that, that failed because they chose another institution that wasn't of the Almighty God. It wasn't of Jah. It wasn't of Yahweh. You see? And this is the truth, and we'll, we'll get into this part, but it, it's deeper than that. It's Now you're talking about something that was going on like 20,000 years ago, today. And then you're trying to base it on something that's going on today. you got to really understand what, you, what you're saying, what you're talking about. So remember, he said the name Asar. Asar. Right? But let's see what these other names. I mean, the roots of Christianity in Africa are deep. You know, the whole I idea that we didn't know about Christianity until slavery, that's a lie. You know that. Ethiopia is one of the oldest Christian nations in the world. The Man, oldest. God. The oldest, yeah. They got like 1,500 <laughs> churches <laughs> still out in the rock, right? Okay, okay, okay. so you know. All right, yeah. now, this is the thing. Um, the story of Osiris, Isis, Horus, if you really look at that, yeah, it's three. It's a trinity in that regard. But their story doesn't match up with the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. You know, I mean... Break that down, how it don't... Well, you, I mean, the story of what? Wait. Set, you know, uh, was it Osiris got chopped up and, and set? Like, one of them was Satan, right? Set? Oh, that was set. I mean, set. so I, I, I'd have to refresh my memory on right, it. Right. But I know that that story, the only, the only connection to the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit is that it's three. But if you look at the actual story, you know what I'm saying, it doesn't match up. What I would say, there's a book called by Paul Boyd called The African Origins of Christianity. Yeah, that's a dope book. Man, you know, the reason I ain't speaking too much right now is because, uh, you know, this brother was really saying a lot in this video. I remember the last time I was going over it. And, uh, you know, he was really saying a lot. He was, he, probably, he was saying just about everything that leads up to this right here you see but um there's still some other things that have to be clarified and so what i would say is obviously the devil knew that there was three persons in one guy right if you accept the christian biblical belief and so i would say that osiris horus and isis is a counterfeit of the trinity that the biblical trinity because again all right it's not that um the isis the horus and the, the, you know, uh, the um, the set that none of the it's not necessarily that it's a um, you know that it's a counterfeit. It just that it tells a different mystery in three different ways, and it's not very well understood. People don't understand that knowledge unless you actually have studied like ancient Egypt and and some of the deeper knowledges of what they what they were. Um, you know what they were studying and basically what they came up with but the thing is that they have like three distinct different ways of contrasting the entire story you see what i'm saying and it what it is it is that it's one with the bible see but the, the problem is that people went and took different stories and they applied them to the one that they like Instead of looking at the entire story, instead of looking at everybody's story and putting it together in one and understanding the whole thing. Because God did not bring men or people confusion. It's men that confuse, um, you know, it's men who confuse people, not God. So we can't blame God for that. So let's, 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 No, nah, see, that's the thing, that, that the, uh, the people back then, right, the people that look like you and me, the black and brown people all over the world, right, that look like, um, and, and the good ones, right, the good ones, you don't think that they were aware of the events that would occur in the future, right, and that they also had to leave a blueprint for their children, 
for their generation. Wouldn't you do that? You know, think about that. Right? If you could, um, you know, you had, you had something for your children, a goal for your children, and it was structured successfully. You know, wouldn't you? Of course, you would. You would leave a blueprint, or you would leave a will for them to be able to take care of themselves when you're gone, right? That's what they did back then. That's what you're talking about. All right. See, so you say you see everything in ancient Egypt. You see, what I'm saying you see the divinity of Christ. You see the being born again. You said rebirth. You see the immaculate conception, which is a pretty much a miracle, right? Um, a divine natural phenomena or what they call a phenomena and we'll, we'll 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 say why we use those those certain terms for a certain reason we say phenomena when you're speaking about the supernatural because somebody will say well the supernatural don't exist but well don't you dream so how does the supernatural not exist yeah. okay That's true. Each other, obviously, uh, whether you're a Christian or not, I'm just saying let's remove that stuff. Right, right, right. You know, thank. Um, that's cool, so, right there. See, but you, I didn't even see this part. Of it. Is that in my belief, the devil knew what was coming because it was prophesied in the story that that God was going to bruise the devil's head. You know, and he knew that was a prophecy that Christ was coming, and so he that he he set up like, well, let me say. Okay, I think here you go. This is where it get real at. So we're gonna continue. All right, let's record the time real quick. This is where it get real at right here, cause um, uh, this is really what the whole message of the video is. But it's a blessing in John name that it came out good.